Lucan couldn't keep it together and lost his head. I've since returned to Legeta and my legion has been returned to me. Peace did not settle well for them. Sola's legion is now ready to return to the front lines once again, where we will then expunge what is left of the Northern Empire. I'm back over here in Denus to come. We have a few more locations to conquer, like Onira. And of course, if we do find a large army, ooh, like over here, I need to go help them out. There's not like a ton, but can I make it there in time? I can. Great. You're lucky I made it in time or you would be in trouble. I'll have to get used to fighting with my current army. I did keep my archers and I did include many of my crossbowmen. But more importantly, I have a lot of horsemen again. All right, let's get ready for a pretty big battle. Bowman, Bowman you know where to move. Oh, All of you over there. Now, I can't have my archers oh. right in front of my bowmen. Usually, it's a line of sight issue. We can try it. But usually, they're unable to fire if someone is blocking their line of sight. So I can't always do that. Well, hold on. What's up here? Could it be a great way to... Yeah, it is. Oh, they'll be slowed Archer. down, too. Archers, move over here. Enter a good, loose formation. And there we are. Infantry, move over there. Horsemen, move way down again. Horse archers, I don't really care too much about what you're doing. Don't worry about it. I've got plenty of archers. I think we're going to take out some of them. And I'm moving in, too. Manteos! We used to fight together. Now I get to knock you the hell out. Life is looking pretty good to me. All right, so evidently they can move through here easily. I took out one guy's mount. He'll be back, I'm sure. All right. Let's have a look up here. Maybe I'll move my archers. I haven't really decided yet. Oh, there they are. Okay. Archers. I've got so many, it's actually difficult to position them all properly. Here's what we'll do instead. I want them to move back just a little bit. Infantry, you'll wait there on the flank. Or I could just have you move over here. We'll try that out. We'll just give it a go. For the hell of it. Horsemen, I want you to move very far away. They're going to flank them later once all of our enemies move in. So let's have a good look at them. They're in a loose formation. I can drag and, you know, lengthen out their line a little bit more. But I don't think we're going to do that right now. I know they've got a few horse archers over here. But they're only horse archers. I mean, what can they do to stop me? Not that much. We're already shooting them down. See, you don't have to worry if you've got the necessary damage output, and I do. I've got that damage output right now. If they want to reach me, they're going to get shot the hell up. All right, very good. Now, they're on a hill, so they're higher than my infantry. What I'm talking about is whenever they're on a level plane. That can make it quite challenging, for sure. Oh, that's a lot of ranged attacks. Okay, here's what we'll do now. Horsemen, go in. Do what you can. We have many shields. So I do believe that will help out. Let's see where they're going to go to. Go, my horsemen. You can move now. Footmen. Okay, so I need them to fall back in the future. If they just kind of move back, they'll turn their backs to the enemy. We didn't lose very many, so it's fine. There goes all of my soldiers now. Next time, I'll give them a fallback order rather than just trying to move them back. That should be better. We'll see if they actually keep their shields up then. But there goes all of my soldiers now. We can see that... Many are under attack. Let's go out there and try to kill some more of them. Our casualties will be smaller despite playing on a higher difficulty. It's another dead infantryman. Let's go circle around once more. Got more to kill. Never ends for me. Just want to kill one of you. There we are. That looks good to me. Justinian got another kill. All right, let's circle back around. I know there's more of them to worry about. Passing on through. Don't mind me. Just here to kill some of your elite crossbows or whatever you have. All right, let's see. Going back. Archers, I want all of you to advance. Actually, no, 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 just move up. Just move up. We'll look at our casualties afterwards, but look at that swarm of units just really rising on top of them. They can't do it. They're completely overwhelmed by my formation. Their numbers were not sufficient. Their formation was not sufficient. Their leaders <laughs> were awful. Mercenaries are not. It doesn't really matter. Now I'm having a hard time moving through my own men. All of you charge in. I'll get a few kills. I mean, that's going to happen. 
But what truly matters right now, are they going to get enough kills to change up the battle? No, they clearly can't. I've got my Legion back, and we're much better than they are. I'm red, they're purple, so it's easy to really distinguish who is who. Outside of, like, maybe a few mercenaries. But anyway, I'm just here to watch my men fight. Oh, hold on. They're reforming. Interesting. All right. Well, I don't like that very much. No, I do not. It's one dead recruit. They're throwing stuff at me again. I'm going to let my horsemen just kind of bounce right through them. Let's head on through. Infantry, you too. Archers, move up. Sometimes what I like to do, I like to bring my archers onto their flank. Then they're exposed whenever they're fighting my infantry. That really shuts them up. They can't do anything then. I got another. All right. I haven't been using my couched lance for a long time now. It's been all about my other weapons, but I'm going to use it for a little bit. A dead brigand. Of course they have a brigand. All right. Let's go back again. Even on higher damage, when it comes to my elite cataphracts and other horsemen that I'm currently training up, they're much better. And I've got so many, too. I know they missed me. We used to fight together all the time, but I'm glad I did not bring them to the lands of the Azurai. That was a challenge to fight the Azurai, and I really enjoyed it, too. That was a lot of fun for me to say, hey, can I raise up a group of peasants to conquer an entire people? The answer, you know of. Cut them down, boys. I got one. Whoever is running away, let's butcher them. Every single one of them. Tell me they're done now. They should be done now. There is no victory for them to find today. It is a lost toy. It's way too high up on the shelf for them to reach. All right, let's have a look now. How many did I lose? We're looking at 26 dead, 20 wounded. So tactically, they were finished off. That was a viable maneuver. It worked out well. You've got to make use of slopes when you can, but I've had a lot of planes-based battles. Come on down. I could let a few of you go. You know what? Maybe I'll do that for mercenaries. Krator, you know what? Forget about it. I'll just let them go from now on. Let them fight as much as they want. And I'll tell you why, because I want to increase my charm. You can get some points over into charm if you do that. Ooh, 148 for prisoners. I'll take them all. Look at that. Many people have been upgraded. We have many new horsemen. I could kill her. Am I going to kill her? Let's have a look. Ah, Dionikos. You're part of that clan, led by Krotor, who I did let go. Interesting. That's your father. How old are you? Only 31. Okay, so you're essentially the age of my wife who's also 31. I'll take your loot. We never need to look at it. It's just kind of like that thing you do. You're like, okay, better take their loot. I do wish I could exclude all of my horsemen from a siege battle. That would be nice. My leadership is now 184. Godin, hello! Do you want to fight, Godin? Do you want to wrestle just a little bit? Yeah, let's wrestle. Right, they're camped out over there going after Carinia. They did conquer it before, but not right now. Right, hold on. Let's go over to my clan. So for my parties, I did send out Blood Axe again and Ayam. I gave him a lot of Azurai. So now he's just traveling around doing whatever Ayam likes to do. And Ilmir is back out there too. Agna really does so well. I'm very proud of her. I always like when we see her. She's a good buddy of mine. All right, men, let's get ready now. It's time for a pretty decently sized battle. For me, for them, they're in trouble. Oh, these are great trees. I like this battle map. Anyway, everyone follow me real quick. Let's try to find out where they're at right now. Ah, oh, there they are. I see them. Okay. Well, they've got some horsemen. Not a lot. I want all of you to enter a loose formation. Just move out there. Oh, a bridge. Even better. Okay, infantry, wait there. Horsemen, I want you to move far, far away for now. Just go. Don't worry about it. We'll let our archers take care of it. Move about there, because I just want you to begin attacking right away. Oh, don't even try to hit me. Go away. No one likes you that much, okay? Nope. Kuzait. Not gonna happen. See, they do not have a sufficient amount of riders in order to make a big difference, and one noble son will not be going home. They just don't have it. 
There's a nice bridge here. I would love to move up. Maybe a little bit closer to that bridge. If they've got to cross, holy crap, we could destroy them all. All right. Let's come over here in just a minute. Let's finish off their riders if we can. Or instead, I could just have them face direction. Yeah, face direction. Come over here. Infantry, I want you a little bit closer. Enter your shield wall. Horsemen, just keep on moving away. All right. Let's get everyone into position. My archers are just going to machine gun them down. The rate of fire will be spectacular. I've gotten a couple of kills myself. All right, let's do it now. Look at that, right across the bridge. What a way to go, huh? Oh, you're kidding me. They're done. What can they do? There's very little. All right, come over here. They've got some horsemen. Horsemen, you too. Let's just keep on hitting them. Oh, did it hit a shield? Damn. All right, footman, charge in. Horseman, charge in. Actually, I'm gonna leave you to the command of our AI comrades, our sergeants. And look at how quickly they just lost a lot. Look at those casualties pile up. They charged in, they had to. My horsemen and my infantry converged on them. So here's what we'll do. I want all of my horsemen to come on down here. Let's go. I just want them all to move over here right away. It's time for us to really damage all of their ranged units too. We've got quite a few of them, so I want them dead. Let's go. We've got one Imperial Archer. We've got a lot of friends close by. I need to... Oh man, someone hit me from behind. That was actually pretty devastating. They had another wave on the way. Nice. Alright. Archers, I could move you over here, actually. Let's move them over here real quick. They keep on shooting me. But I'll do that. 96 damage delivered. It's another dead Imperial Archer. I'm still being hit by a lot of their ranged units. Just charge in, all of you. You've got it. I've got to watch out. I don't want to get knocked out right now. I'm still commanding my men. Look at how low our casualties are. Trust me, I know how to interact in battle. If I begin to lose on realism, then that is a different story. But as it stands right now, I'm doing fine. Now, I might get knocked out by a stray arrow. I mean, when you're having to watch out for dozens of arrows flying at you, eventually one is going to land, you know? It's just going to happen. So in this case, I had the numbers. I could pressure them. That's what I wanted to do the entire time. I wanted to pressure them. And because I've done that, there's very little that they can do to stop me. We can just run right through them. I mean, I just got two kills. I didn't have to worry about it. My archers moved through. There was a narrow bridge. They had to try to cross that bridge. Oh, nice. Good hit. All right, let's finish off their army now so that we may move on to a new target. I've taken a few lumps. Sure. <laughs> they had a lot of archers, all right? That was going to happen. I lead from the front lines. Move, men. Move all of you. All right. Battle's nearly over. I lost, what, 12, 15 wounded? Agna, good job. Defender's army, you've got how many left? One soldier left. Okay, well, let's move a little bit. Sometimes they get caught in the middle. You can't really stop that right now. It just kind of happens. Everyone clutters. Who's moving slowly? All right, good job. Let's leave right away. I don't have time to wait. We just need to move on. There's more fighting for me to do. I'm going to let you go, Meritor. Sure. You too. I'm not here to be cruel today. I'm not going to execute all of you. If you want to go join Vlandia, feel free to do that, or even the Kuzait if you have fallen that far. No, I want their relations with me to potentially increase. And now we're going to just promote every single soldier that we have right now that's able to be promoted. I've got plenty of horsemen. A few are wounded. That happens, you know. It's a war. It's very nice whenever you use a very uniform group because then you don't have to worry about all the different types of variety that you can get with it all. Like, I don't really want to hire any of my prisoners. I did hire, like, what, two or three. I'll keep, like, a few of them. But I like having my group all together as a uniform, homogenous army. But I will let them stay. Well, actually, hold on. If we have too many. If we have too many, then forget about it, Blandians. Here's a volunteer. I don't need you. Oh, we're still over, huh? Yeah, I did pick up too many. Shame on me. All right. 
Here's a Vlandian recruiter too. There's looters. I don't want looters in my formation. Gross. Now, will I keep too many prisoners? Yeah. Not here to capture all of them. All right. So I've got 44 days of food left right now. There is a little modification that changes up your little food monitor. Instead of like showing you your total amount of food, it shows you how many days worth of food that you have left. That's all that it does. It's just easier than having to hover your cursor over it and go, hmm, I wonder how many days. And you can read it there, sure. But now I can just glance without having to do that. It's very minor. It's very minor, but I like it. It's what I want. The Ostacos hate me. Oh, the Ostacos hate me. It's about time to besiege a town. And I've been breaking down walls so often lately. Why don't we just build up our battering rams and all those other tools that we need? It's about time to conquer what they have. Carinia Castle. Oh, right. Vipen, I believe he was part of the Southern Empire. I saw him down by one of our towns and I was able to convince him to come join us. So now he's got land again. He's got a proper fief. So let's build up our camp and get right into it. I'm ready. I'm ready for a new battle. There's my camp. Now the battle is beginning. We've got a battering ram and two siege towers. It feels good to have all of my Imperials here. We don't always get to have them. And I'm sure over time we'll get different types of modifications to really diversify the rosters. I would probably wait to see which ones are the major ones who are going to be consistent with their updating. Because people are putting out a lot of stuff. But you never know who's going to actually keep up with it until a few weeks or even more time has passed on. Now I wonder, are we going to get a lot of kills? Because if you remember, we weren't getting nearly as many when we were commanding our Azurai counterparts. I mean, they just were not shooting a lot. But I've got a lot more crossbows and, of course, archers too. I wanted to mix it up, so I brought in the two. And right now, they seem to be doing a pretty good job of it. I mean, we're talking about a lot of elites. I just picked up what I had in my garrisons. I didn't want to actually train too much as I usually do. Usually I spend a long time going after looter parties, fighting them constantly. There's a lot of snow here. We've been in the sand and now we're back in the snow. Let's wait now because all of my siege equipment is going to make it to the walls easily. And my range units are quickly making just swift work of all of them. Where are they? Because, I mean, they're just dropping dead. Like over here, they're exposed. They can't stop us. What an awful way to go, Imperials. I can't call them Imperial scum because you know what we are. It would be amazing to play a type of like setting in here that's set like maybe 50 to 60 years down the line. And one of Sola's children have ruled for so long the Empire is falling apart or whatever. There's a big civil war going on. I mean, we kind of have that whole situation now. So you could just like rename a bunch of characters and divide up his children into each faction. That would be cool. That would be really cool. But as long as Sola lives, he'll be fighting. He is the true founder of a united empire, a great empire at that. Okay, so now we get to finally break down the gate. Usually I skip like right down to the point where we're climbing up the ladders or even going through the gate. But today, I just wanted to look at the castle and chat for a little bit about various things. All right, let's go up. I'm sure they might shoot me, so I've got to watch out for that. But anyway, I'm on my way up. Got my five javelins. We've lost, what, only six so far, two of my own party. They're losing so many more, but we have so many more elite units. I mean, they have militia. Militia, man. That isn't going to... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect. I love this. Let's just see. Oh. <laughs> You're going to fill that one. You too. Damn, a shield. I was hoping to land them all. That's four out of five, though. All right. Anyone over here? Oh, yeah. There's a few over here. Hey, kids. Ever been to hell? Oh, trying to flank me, huh? Let's go get him. All right, I got him. I'm going to try to focus a little bit. That's another one. I know how to count. All right, let's clean up all these archers up here. <laughs> Easy enough. That's plenty of damage. 
And I know how to kind of like build with my perks a little bit more, so that'll probably be easier for me to build a much more powerful character in the future. Not that I've needed much more power, right? All right, we got him. Moving in. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you're so lucky right now. Oh, he's quick, oh my God. Well, I'm probably just like a little bit slower just due to what I have here. I was hoping to like kick him off if I could. Come on. Damn. No, I don't need to try that right now. Maybe if I was like playing on a lower difficulty setting, but I take too much damage to play like that. Oh, hey, that worked out. I think we got him, yeah. Oh yeah, that actually worked out. I didn't have to kick him off, but... Perfect. I stabbed him off, I poked him off, which is somehow more suitable for Sola. He's not much of a kicker, he's more of a poker. Oh, he's dead, okay. All right, there's only a few left now. How many kills did I, oh, 10 kills. Hey, that's not too bad. Damn. He's like, I know how to fight. Doesn't really matter. You don't know how to live. Shield bash. Cut. Second cut. <laughs> I would like to think that Sola at times likes to vocalize his swings. Sola stab. Oh God, I'm, I'm in the middle. Oh no, don't you push me off. I'm your king boy. Okay, I'm just trapped here right now. I don't like mosh pits. Wave crush is a real fear. Get me out of here. Ah! All right, I'm gonna have to wait here for a minute until we get through. I'm nearly there. Let me, men, I swear, I will have all of you executed. Get me out of here. All right, and I still got a kill, nice. Oh, he's dead too. Legionary and legionary violence? I don't like that. Anyone in here? Oh, they're upstairs. Okay, well, that should be the last one, right? Yeah. Oh, no, friendly fire from the artillery. Come on, men. Oh, well. Let's move on. Wait, we don't have artillery. Yeah, we don't. What happened then? Huh. All right, so I'll take their prisoners. I'm going to scroll down. Equite, sure. Here is a skirmisher. And do we have any of our own soldiers? Yeah, you. He'll come join me, one Imperial Archer. Yep, come on down. That'll do it. The rest are going into Imperial Gel. They've got Jello. I'm kidding, you get no Jello. Maggot bread, that's all I got for you. My Isaiah, oh my God, we're over here now? Whew. You're kidding. Okay, hold on, before we move on, let's go over what is happening currently. It's a big deal to me. So, if you remember when we first began our campaign, and we'll go over the map as we go on, I began out over here. We were fighting nonstop. I owned Makeb and Tepe's castle. That was a big deal to me. They wouldn't give me more land, so I had to say, okay, I've got to leave. And of course, I was on the war front. I'm the one who kept them all busy while we were fighting a bunch of Sturgians up north. Is it Sturgians or Sturgians? I'm going to assume it's Sturgians, but anyway. Then... I formed my own kingdom. To do that, I came all the way out over here to Legetta. I've been conquering since that point, fighting for so many different locations. And I haven't been back over here in a very, it's been years, man. It's actually kind of wild and I love this part of the game. It's 1094. Do you know how old I am? I'm much older than I used to be. Let's go over to our kingdom. I'm currently 43 years old. 43. We were in our early 30s when we first began our journey. Now look at where we're at. We've got over 10 kids. I've got countless enemies. Here's a new one. Chara, Augustus, Aurelius, Justinian II, Alexandra, Eleia, Lysica, Eudokia. We've got Alexios, Demetrios, Petronas, Justinian III, and Chara. And people have been asking me all throughout the series, why am I not talking to my brother right now? That quest isn't completed. That's why. I can't do much with it right now because there is no continuation to it. So hopefully that will lay that down to rest once and for all. Once that quest is in, then I can certainly pursue that route. But for now, I cannot. I cannot do that. All right. We conquered a pretty cool location. We'll come over here to a castle. I'll try to convince more lords to join me. We've got some who are wounded. I wonder, can I get any food here? I don't really need food, but if you know you have no food, 
I have not seen a lot of food lately. I think people are not doing well. I, I think the warring has really got to them. And I want money, so give me money. All right, charcoal, I need that. Iron ore, I need that too. I'll have to modify smithing in the future to where we can actually go down that route because right now it takes way too long. Even if you had no stamina, the amount of time it takes, incredible. There we go, over 140,000 dinars. Let's rest up for a bit, put in some prisoners, and get ready to move on. The Azurai stopped attacking me. Well, that was a good choice. I think one day we'll be able to fight a defensive battle. When that day might come, I don't know. We're pretty offensive, it's just what we do. We're very good at it. Okay, so we are fighting for a little fortress, so here's what I'll do. I'm gonna build up a bunch of ballista, and quickly. Let's just break down what they have, you know? Okay, they've conquered a castle. I'll let them take care of that for right now, and we'll look at it later. We've got a few people just watching me. Ooh, there's a big army, hey! Come on down. Oh, you're blocked? Yeah, he's blocked. Look at that, he can't even get through. What an idiot. All right, so we're getting even more artillery up there. All right, so they've bypassed me. They're probably going over to that town. I'll have to hurry up pretty soon. If I wanna somehow get through to all of them. Okay, Oros, you did form a new army. And again, whatever they conquer, I'll just take it back and quickly. It wouldn't take me long at all. Okay, move to reserve. Let's get a good trebuchet because I wanna break down their walls. I'm gonna have you watch what I often do on my own. I fight some wars just with all of our building. Oh, there's Farron. And Lantanor. I know all these people. I fought with them for a very long time. That was a very long war to keep everyone happy, to get everyone together. All right, let's get another Fire Onager, or our first one. We are finally ready to go in. Let's go jump in there. I probably shouldn't have any artillery. I am worried about friendly fire. Well, not worried. It's a thought of mine that there could be friendly fire. I can't say I'm worried, I don't really care that much. All right, let's jump into the siege and attack right away. It's a snowy day. And I do like seeing blood on snow. It's like one of my favorite things ever. All right. Is it over here? Can I just enter over here? Oh man, they were ready for me. They were waiting for me. Interesting. Yeah, look at that. I don't care what you're trying to do. Wait, did you hit my mount? Oh, it's just leaving. Holy crap, that's a lot of them. Back off, kids. Oh crap, they're hitting me from behind now. Let's just kill a few of them over here. Like that guy. Especially that guy. And I never did like him. Damn, a shield. Okay, are my men coming in? They are, good, good. All right. Now stay back there. Or you'll get poked. Some people like that. You probably won't. So we've got to find our way upstairs. Oh, it's about to get messy and nasty. Let's get him. Sola, your gang needs to move in quickly. Oh God, there's too many of them though. I need to get out of here. We'll have another big battle eventually. It's just that today, we're just sweeping things up. I have fought some seriously tough battles, but now we finally just get to move in and kill them all. Which is nice. All right. Oh, check out that line of kills over there. I suppose I'll need to head back in. Let's try to get to the other side if we can. We finally broke through. Let's hope I don't get shot up. I mean, they've already freaking gotten me a few times. All right, so once we're up here, is there anyone for me to take down? Not really. Look at how many men are just rushing in. We've got hundreds. I can't wait to end the entire Northern Empire. That's really gonna be my big delight. I might get rid of a few party members. We already outnumber them. I'll make it more fair for them. I'm here for a few good battles, you know. Oh, damn. They were all cut down. They didn't even have a chance. I mean, where they died, you can tell that they were in there just waiting, getting ready to fight, then out of nowhere. Especially him. He got really messed up. So beat down, he was put into the ground. I don't see anyone new. Oh, no, they're just down there. And it's over. We've won the battle. That is it. Let's get the hell out of here now. There's only a few of them left. Oh, I don't care. It's only five damage. 
All right, so we're looking for no one because we've won. As I told you that I would do, I let go of my entire army. Now we're fighting alone. I don't really need them. To be fair, though, they don't really need me, and I'll tell you why. They went off to go fight another army. They had over 200 men, and they easily won. Hello, Godin. Now, would you like to join me? We'll try. Ineffective. Not a good start. Usually, when you get the first one, you've got a much higher chance at being able to do that. But here, no. Forget about it, then. Let's leave and beat him. You've got to die. Okay, we're fighting at night. Very well. Let's get ready for another scrap. Ooh, a wide open area. Perfect. Okay. First off, you know what I need to do. Horsemen, move far away. Archers, you're moving up right now. Playing this game without a tactical mindset just wouldn't really work for me. Even if it's quite basic in what you're doing, it can dramatically change up how your battles play out. Especially on a higher difficulty. But even on a lower one if you need it. Okay, here comes Take all of my train. units. Actually, stay behind my archers Forward. for now. But I don't train. want you to do anything other than standing Stand in a loose formation. Because I want them to easily be able to pass through you. Here comes a bunch of riders. Well, watch this. What can they do? I'm going to block a few of them. Those who actually get some hits, good for them. I took out one Equite. We have so many archers. I mean, we're just going to either take out their mounts or take them out or both. Hold on. Let's get through. That battle will be over eventually. All right. 44 damage delivered. And I took him out. Goodbye, brigand. Oh, 45 damage. He got me. He got me. I won't even play dead, though. He got away. That's a shame. That's all right. I took out his mount. He's down. What about you? You've got a shield up. Oh, it's Fauna. It's Fauna did not make it. And no one remembered her. All right, now about that last army, where are they at? When they crest that hill, it'll be over for them. No one is wounded, no one is dead. On their side, 12 wounded, six dead. Let's go check out on what they're doing currently. Oh, there they are. All right, fine, if you want me to move towards you, I can certainly move towards you. Let's give it a minute. Hold on now. I know you've got archers. I've got two javelins total. Not a lot. Let's throw one. Oh, damn a shield. We'll throw another. One dead recruit. Imagine standing right by that guy. Hey, my best friend was killed by an emperor. Sweet. That's a story to share. Oh, passed right by him. I was hoping to lure them over to me, but if we can't do that, we're not going to waste our time just dancing around. Wait, hold on. The archers are moving up. Or archers, they were. Move. Forget it. Forget about it. Soldier Let's move then. And that's why you're in a loose formation. Horsemen, move, move far away. You'll come in later. Now hold, hold your down. fire. I do not want them to pursue me. Not yet. Archers, Get over move. here. Infantry, Infantry right behind them. If we need to reform, we'll do it quickly. Infantry. All right. They're moving up. I've taken some damage. My mount, too. But I'm ready now. Archers! Yep, there they are. All 88. So I need more archers. Understood. I mean, naturally, you probably want more infantry if you're worried about them closing ranks with you. Unless you're really, really intent on trying to outshoot them before they can even come to you, which can work out. It has worked out for Archer! me, too. I've played... Factions where I've used like pretty much all ranged units, but Bowman. things can happen. Terrain can be poor for you. Let's go. Move. Move up a little bit. Now we have so many more archers than they do. We're playing on full damage, so will we lose some? Absolutely. It's very likely. Riders, move out. Alright. Shield wall. In advance. Archers, wait where you're at. Horsemen, you know where to go. But check out those volleys. Look at how many and how quickly we're killing them. I have to be very careful because if I charge through the middle, they're going to block me. If they block me, I could be hit. I don't want to be hit. If right now, they could easily shoot me. I don't want that. 
Not for you either, brigand. And so check it out now. Hammer and anvil. Hit them from their flank while they're busy fighting all of my infantry. That's what they're busy doing, and I like to ride through. If I get a hit, great. If I don't, I'll try to work on that. It's all about improvement. Perfection would be nice. It's a goal to aspire to. But I'm here to work on becoming better. Not every battle of mine will be perfect. I mean, some will be pretty messy. Some I might even mess up on. But overall, if I lose the war, then shame on me. But if I mess up a little bit, but I still win the battle and my losses are minimal, then who really cares that much? You can't sweat all the small stuff, you know. If I had fun with it all, then it's all good. Ooh, they are really shooting at me. That's a lot of them. Okay, horsemen, I want all of you to move over here. Actually, I just, I just want you to move in right now. Come over here. Or even follow me. Now, follow me isn't quite as nice as it was before. They will fight their way through, but just charge in. Just charge in right now. You don't need to try to outmaneuver them. Just go in and kill. If it's you too. We've lost what? 35 wounded, 8 dead. Then at times you just need to send in everyone. Once you do that, hey. They'll be overwhelmed and they can't do anything. I got him too. That's a dead crosswoman. How many kills did I pick up? Nine kills. I was hoping for a good 10, but I'll I'll take nine. Oh, that's really cool. He just picked up a shield. I like how they make use of what's out there on the battlefield. That's really neat. So we took out another army. Svana. You may go. Who else now? Didn't I just beat you? That is a great way for them to like you just more. As you go along, unless you kill one of their friends and they get very angry. Odin, go on. He's like, oh, really? Wow, you're great. Yeah, I know. All right. Veteran infantrymen promoted. More archers for me. I'll take a few more crossbows later. Equites, you're training up. Nice work. I was going to take a few more crossbows, but whoops, my bad. All right. Any prisoners who are imperial? A few recruits. Just a few. Highwaymen? A brigand? Ah, eh, they're militiamen, but I guess. I'll take a few. All right, now. Where do I need to go? Onira. Onira is near me. All right, let's have a look over here at my own character sheet. I'll check on my companions later on. All right, that's my party. Making so much more money. We've got a few more veterans. There's that one battalion. All right. Hold on. Before I go there, how's our garrison over at that castle? I don't actually know. I'm good for you, Andros. We're looking at 86 for militia. That is not a lot. Wait, did you guys want to fight? Because I'll wrestle. Are we now fighting the Kuzaites as well? Because I'll kill them too. Evidently we are. I didn't even see that war deck. Huh. Okay. Well, that's fine. If I need to kill them too, I'll kill them too. Now, did they take Onira from me? Because I thought we had it. I don't remember, actually. I don't think we did. Alright, let's go take more locations from them. Because now we're fighting the Kuzaites. They're helping out. Mortal foes now fighting alongside each other. What a shame. Even Blood Axe was able to get one of them. So we're over here right now. Let's move back. I was going to chase after a few of their lords, but forget about it. We're going over here now. Yeah, I could get you to join me. If they all want to join in together to fight me, let them do so. I've got over 30 days worth of food. That's a lot of stuff that could hit me. Not a fan. Let's break them down, everyone. I mean, that or they'll come in to fight me. But so far, they're just waiting. I could capture them, but let them put up a good fight, I think. Ah, there's a big army. Let's go in. But before I do that, let's have a chat. Hey, man, how's it going? What if you joined me? Oh, I did it before? Damn. If only I could talk to other lords. Well, you know what we've got to do today. Fight a very large battle where... They've got a lot of nearby people coming to fight me. Well, now, look at that. 
they have how many? Over 500. They've only spawned me in with 289. Or maybe I have that many wounded. Archer, okay, let's see. We have a rock over to our left flank. That will help cover me there. That's good. Okay. So I'm going to go into a loose formation. That's what we do. Infantry, I want you close by. Horsemen, go over there. You'll come in later. Don't worry about it. Now, are they going to come for me? Or will I need to go for them? There are some trees on my flanks, and that could cover me too. Whenever they crest the hill, that'll give us an opportune time to actually fight them. We could just shoot them while they do that, like right now. Let's check it out real quick. What's going to happen to all of their mini riders, huh? They're on their way. They're coming. One knocked out. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Bring in what you want, but you can't do that much to me, pal. Just shoot them all. Okay, skein formation. Skein formation. Here comes many more infantrymen. Let's move up right now. All of you, shield wall. All of you, charge in. I'll pull you back out later, but for now, just get over here. Okay, I've got my archers. I need to move away because currently I am commanding. Here comes all of my horsemen on their flank. If you want to advance, you can do so. Archers, I just want you to shift over a little bit. Let's move over here. Will it get nasty? Absolutely. But again, their line of sight is partially blocked. Let's hit a few of them. Like that, but one veteran. Oh, crap. It's a lot of ranged attacks. All right. Horsemen, I just want all of you back here now. My archers can do their part to help out, but I need all of you to come after these stupid units back here. Got one archer. Only one. Charge in again. Actually, I'll just have you delegated. They do a pretty good job, usually. I just need my archers to move over here, because we want to face our enemies, but also flank them. I'm heavily outnumbered, but you can see where already it's working in my favor. I'll have to pull back afterwards. Oh yeah, I will definitely pull back afterwards. Now, they do have a lot of lightly armored ranged units that'll work in my favor, too. That's a good thing for me. My horsemen have run right through them. We just need to probably face them over here. Guys, you should be advancing towards the ones looking at you, but I guess it's kind of working out in a weird way. They're behind us now. That's very interesting. Oh, my bad. I meant for you to advance. But they're closing in now, so it all worked out, huh? My archers are now hitting them on their flank. See that? Our positions have kind of been reversed in a very interesting way. My right, horsemen go out that way. Keep on attacking. I just need them to actually just ride out over here. They might take out my mount soon, which is what I'm more worried about currently. Come on and follow me. Let's go. That was a nasty hit. Damn, you got a lot of archers. Okay. All right, group four. Yep, you know where to go. Try it out. Let's get our infantry up here. I need my archers to move up too. If they move up, then they'll be able to easily just scissor them down, cut them down. All right, I'm going to fight a little bit too. All right, so far it's working out. We just need to move up now. I mean, when you have that many archers, you're still going to take some hits, some lumps. I find that follow me isn't the same tool it used to be over in Warband. I had to gather my thoughts for a brief moment. They'll cut a little bit, but they're not nearly as effective. There's other tools to use now, too, so it's not like a huge deal. Alright, charge in. All of you charge in. My range units have moved up since, so I think they're going to be able to shoot whoever's trying to flee or whoever's still left here. My casualties are at what now? 130 wounded, 52 that are dead. And we took out a lot. Look at that. We've killed over 550. Those who are left up here in the scrapper, they're now running away. Like that guy. Got him too. A brief jab in the gut and he fell. I felt good. Yeah, I think I'm not going to use a combined army for a little bit. Being outnumbered is fun. We've killed over 600 now. They took out 191. Let's have a look at what was truly effectual on their end. I'm actually curious about that. Let's look at that. 
So I've got my one army. My archers killed 232, so they did the bulk of the work there. My legionaries, 159. They did a lot of work, too. Cataphracts only got a few. All right, let's see here. 23 kills, recruits, 11, really. All right, what about down here now? Their kills are so spread out amongst all of their many groups, it's hard for me to really say, but crossbowmen, yeah. I mean, obviously, their range units, too, are quite deadly. Darkons, eight kills, yeah, understandable. One lord got three kills. Recruits, I mean, they just had so many of them. Huh. It was just a lot of men, but it was so evenly spread out. Now we can get out of there. Antenor. Get out of here. Mina? You too. Lashanek? I've got a whim, and my whim says capture you. <laughs> Krator, you too. No, I could wipe out all of their families. Aaron, are you the one that I need to look for? No, you're Batanian, so you're not. Oh, I've killed your friends. That's pretty funny. Yep, you're my enemy too, but come on over. Come on over. Sverdon, and you too, Guy Form. You could have joined me. You chose not to. Okay, we've got a few new soldiers. I mean, uh, I need to supplement what I did lose, so I'll take a few more and I'll hire a few. It will be a little bit more mixed up, but we are still majority Imperial. They will count only as auxiliaries. Only as auxiliaries. Recruit prisoner. Sure. All right, that's a woodsman, a soldier. If you need them, you need them, you know. I've got how many? Oh my god, 80 recruits. So if I just need to train up a new army, I've got all the tools I need. Now come on back. Let's go over here. There we go. One. I'll just kind of go through here and try to take my time at recruiting them all. Because we've got so many prisoners. All right, veteran archer. Very nice. Here's a billman. Let's look down. Militia archer. Okay, a brigand. And I always need a few more horsemen. I could easily execute everyone that I meet, but then everyone would hate me. And I'm going to be honest with you, Justinian is not that bloodthirsty. He will take off the head of a serpent, but he's not just going to kill with, you know, any type of bloodlust. He likes to reap and harvest, sure. He's got to enjoy what he does. I mean, he's a great combatant. I'm over my troop limit. Okay, I'll go to a nearby town and fix it all up. When we need to. But for right now, let's get ready for a new battle at Onira. They came for me again. How many times do I've got to teach you this lesson, old man? All right. Here we go. Fairly open location, but hold on. What's over here? If it isn't on the edge of the map, oh, it is. Well, I can make some use of it. Yep, come on down, archers. It's not a lot of room, but I think it'll do today. Here's where we live. Archers move up. Archers go into a loose formation, then move up. All right, infantry, I want you down there. Form your own line. Horsemen, please move far, far away. Don't wait here, please. Perfect. Get out of there. Here comes a bunch of them. We've got to hurry up. Infantry, move there instead. Move there now. Horsemen, you can turn around. All right, my archers will take care of them, I think. Come over here. They'll be rotating a bit. Oh, you're lucky that you rode right on in. Got one horse. You know they won't be going back home. And guess who just cut him off? Me. All right, follow me. Let's go take down a bunch of their riders while we're here. Look at you, using a bunch of uh, horse archers. You're a nasty lot. No, we're not done fighting yet. I'm gonna pull out my javelins, I think. Oh, hey, what's up? Someone kill that fool. No, that's a big group. Let's move away. Right away. Go now. Just need you to ride away right now. You'll come back later. Don't worry about it. Plenty of archers up there. Footmen, move back a little bit. Just a little bit. Nice work. 
guess what? We're gonna have those horsemen charge right back in. All of you can just do that, bro. Alright, group three. You know what to do. Infantry, just wait where you're at. Let's all go attack. Alright, I'm gonna focus on fighting for a minute. I gave my orders. I just need to go out and try to cut down a few of these guys. Damn, that was a bad swing. Very shameful. Alright, my horsemen are moving in. You can see them. I'm about to truck at them. Another dead hunter. Come on. Lower my lance and let's try to get someone new. That hill did me a lot of favors, I'll tell you that much. Yep, charge in. It's really just archers left. Let's get them all. I just want these guys dead. Man, a lot of Sturgians. Evidently, you guys have come from the north. Alright, let's see here. After that, I might have to go heal up for a bit. That's a lot of all-out brawls. I have not taken a long break between any of my fights. I mean, like a day or two at most, but it's been non-stop. I'm glad that we're so good at what we do that we can do that. How many groups can do that? Ha! <laughs> Lek couldn't get out of here. I'm killing him. You know what? I'm gonna kill a few mercenaries. It's really just their mercenaries keeping them going, I believe. Yeah. Ever since they changed mercenaries in one of the patches, they are so plentiful. They are everywhere now. It used to be they were just kind of like a weird little highlight. Now, they are everywhere. All right, so I'm looking at 64 wounded, eight dead. Barely any dead. Many wounded, sure. A lot of renown gained. I wonder when I'll get to my next tier for... Oh, hello, Tovir. All right, you belong to me. You too. Just all of you, really. Collectively, as a group. Lek, that was funny. You're an idiot. I'm not going to kill all of the Imperials. It's a lot of prisoners. I can't take them all. I'll take... a few of the trained ones instead. Because, like I used to do, I used to keep all of the trained ones I wanted. Then whenever they would want to join me, I could pop them on in. I wouldn't have to go through a bunch of crappy units, too. Horse Archer. Sure. Horse Raider. I'll take Horse Men. All of them. Who's I eat or not? Those head nod. Ooh, those are... Pretty crazy. Very exposed, but pretty crazy. Horse archer, heavy horseman, two legionaries. All right, over my troop limit. I thought we would lose a lot more. I've got many to upgrade, but I'll upgrade them later. And let's see here. We're gonna leave the siege for right now, and we're gonna go take a nap over at Corinia Castle. I'm gonna rest up over at Corinia Castle instead of doing that siege battle. We'll come back to fight them later, but my faction made a peace treaty with them without actually talking to me first. So we're going to go fight the Kuzayit. Then we'll come back after the Northern Empire, which again, their strength really just comes from one thing. Only the mercenaries. All right, let's have a look down here real quick. Who is over here? There's someone I'm looking for. Okay, I don't have you right now. That's fine. I'll deposit every single soldier that I have, every lord. Then we'll get ready for a new war. Yeah, I'm not going to kill you right now. Guy 4, I could kill you. I did kill your friends. You're the leader of your clan, but there's only two of you. That's it. Alright, what about you? You're a vassal as well. Do I hate you that much? Okay, you're their leader too. Lek? You're not a leader here. That would be Godun. It's crazy how who they conquered so long ago are now the mainstay of their armies. Sturgians are now the mainstay of the Northern Empire. How weak. For us here, we're doing fine. We've got Imperials. I mean, we've got a few auxiliaries, but we're largely Imperials. So I'll get ready for a new war. Let's upgrade who we have. I'll put in a few into our garrison because, I mean, they could use some soldiers. I haven't really been trying to help out with that at all lately. Usually I do, but not today. We fought so many major battles, and we're fighting Imperials too. It's not like we're fighting a different faction. They have units much like ours. Now, those guys had a lot of Sturgians, so that was a lot of variety. Many years ago, I was called the Savior of the East as I commanded our legions against the Kuzayit. I will reclaim that title in our war against those horse lords. I've come to complete my story. <laughs> 